Palmer here, Wine Smarties with Taste Wine TV. I have Joseph Spellman, the master sommelier. And I love saying that, honestly. Do you prefer <laughs> you. being called master or Joseph? Just, or master Joe, is, Joseph? just Joe is fine. Yeah, I like Good old that. Joe from Chicago. <laughs> Bring me a beer, you know? Joe. Yeah. So, Joe, what? Um, tell us a little bit about what going, went on here. Because uh, obviously I was part of the panel. So. Well, the, the tasting was designed to be a broad range of wines that we might typically show in the court of Master Sommelier is in our education program to get people tuned into sort of the vocabulary of wine in a very basic way. Uh, it's a little intimidating when you don't know what the wines are and what the format is, but we are, our, our group here really came forward and did describe the wines we had, very like, well. some savvy people in the crowd, didn't we? I think some are pretty experienced and, and maybe some of them even have had experience in the quarter of Master Sommelier's mm-hmm. program, but at least we got a lot of people who maybe were uncomfortable about expressing themselves about wine to say something about it. So at least thinking through some of the flavor components or the, you know, the recognition factors that we like to have in a blind tasting yeah. it can be intimidating, but you know, we want it to be fun. So we tried to goof around a little bit and <laughs> crack a few jokes. I and thought it was very entertaining Pull people myself. out. Well, <laughs> I, I certainly enjoy it. You know, you, you got to gauge the crowd sometimes and figure out, you know, how to, uh, how, how to get them a little bit, uh, <laughs> Uncomfortable and comfortable at the same time. Keep but I, off guard. You know, I think that's very much like the work of a sommelier, a table side. How do you gauge the mood of the table and how do you figure out what their level of sophistication is? And can you use words that are complicated and professional or do we need to keep it sort of basic and simple and get them into a pleasure zone? Because that's really what it's all about is delivering pleasure in a food and wine environment. And I think you mentioned earlier making people feel comfortable and I yeah. think that's another really important part of the whole sommelier it journey, is. isn't it? It's, it certainly is. And, and, you know, we joke about the role of the sommelier. Sometimes it gets a little bit uh, highfalutin or, you know, there's an arrogance associated with the trade. And yeah. most of us who are True. professional sommeliers try not to be that way at all. Um, and I know many good sommeliers nowadays, they're fairly casual guys. Mm. They know their stuff, but there's a lot of energy and true passion about promoting good wine that, you know, whatever they're wearing and whatever style of restaurant they're in, whether it's casual or extremely formal, um, there's a certain intensity about their feelings of of discovering great wine and promoting it. And my final question before you dash, what is your opinion on Fernet Brock? Oh, I love Fernet. (laughs) Just had one the other night. Are you a Fernet guy? I am. All right. Share with everyone the insiders on Fernet and Masters. (laughs) Well, there's one particular master from San Francisco who's a huge Fernet fan, and Actually, San Francisco is a big area for Fernet consumption in the restaurants, but uh, he's gotten a lot of us to make it our regular digestif. Uh, and I just had one two nights ago, first night I was here. So I think I hope the bar brought some more in because I had the last shot. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if there's more. But well, yeah, we all love Fernet. We love our bitters. I've heard. Yeah, Peter Neptune. He Peter's also- one. Tim Gazer's the big one in San Francisco, uh-huh. who's uh, the real proselytizer of Fernet. <laughs> But actually, there's more than Fernet Branca. I, I've enjoyed Fernet by Luxardo lately, too. It's oh. a very good Fernet. Good to know. All kinds of stuff to find out there. So if you want to drink like a sommelier, you drink really good wine, followed by <laughs> Fernet before you go to bed. And have a beer. And have a beer. Always have a beer. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joseph. We'll Pleasure. see you later. Thank you. Okay. Take care.